A new state Senate district were announced this week after being done through a judiciary process. Our Clayton Anderson talked to senatorial candidates in northwest Missouri who are impacted by these district changes. In northwest Missouri, District 12 will be the largest district in the state and represent 19 counties, which includes the eastern half of Buchanan County outside of St. Joseph. Buchanan County was the only county below 180,000 people that was split into two districts. State Rep. Jay Agelson and former State Rep. Dallas Johnson are excited to campaign in rural northwest Missouri for Senate District 12. Most of our, our smaller rural counties either have something, uh, if you live there, you have something to do with agriculture, farming, ranching, working on those businesses or schools um, or small business. And I have a background in, in all of that and um, be honored to, to serve that area if the, if the folks will have me. It's good to finally see the new Senate district maps released. Uh, I also think it's, uh, including the eastern part of Buchanan County is really a great fit for District 12. Uh, I had the opportunity to serve most of the voters in eastern Buchanan County for eight years as a state representative, and my family's farmed the same ground in Buchanan County for over 100 years, so I was really happy to see eastern Buchanan County included in the new District 12 state Senate maps. State Senator Tony Luchtemeyer is currently running unimposed in District 34, and his district lost areas to the northeast due to the population in the southern part of his district increasing. I'm going to be representing most of the same people. I mean, I think, you know, we, we maybe lost maybe five or 6,000 constituents. Everyone else that was in my Senate district before uh, will remain in the 34th Senatorial District. And so, no, I, I think largely the constituents that I've represented for the last four years, um, if I'm fortunate enough to be reelected, will be mostly the same people that I would represent for an additional four years. Both Johnson and Eggleston say they are excited to get the campaign going and traveling their district to meet voters. Clayton Anderson, News Press Now.